The whistle blows and Irvin stops the game. Deep one over the French try line. And already Jean-Pierre Romer with his boot to the ball. The first line out of the game just outside the French 25. And Drew Gill throws and throws long. Picked up by Screla. That's Spangaro brushing off a tackle. The French already running. Esther taking the half of Scotland back. Good possession. Barrow moving it quickly then. Lukes. Irvin covering hard. And that surely a little bit of French exuberance in these early stages. Perhaps we're going to see them running with their traditional flair today. Scotland with the throw in. Good ball by Gordon Brown. Ian McGeekin, the new fly half. A great start for him. Ian McGeekin, perhaps one of the key players on the Scottish side today, playing today in the fly half position, reverting to that position from the centre. Right on the halfway line. Roland Bertrand, the thrower, long to Spangaro at the back. And the first penalty awarded for an infringement at the back of the line-out. And this surely the first kick we'll see today by Jean-Pierre Romer at goal. Romer with this kick to put France ahead. Three points. Delighted. French supporters and France taking a lead after just five minutes of this first half. You see still referee just straightening out the two front rows. France wheeling, Barrow picks up, throws to Roma, Lukes, little Pecun, out to the new cap, Gordon, look at that turn of pace by Gordon. A put in touch. There, Jean-Francois Gordon, only 19, this is his first international, and there we saw just the turn of pace of which he's capable. Just outside the Scottish 25, Louis Dick with the throw, to the front, to Brown. Morgan. Gordon not being able to take that as Scotland surged through. Ian McLaughlin hounding Guatacourt. The ball still in play. Louis Dick. Irvin on the halfway line. Looking for the drop. It's a long kick. It's a mighty one. It's just to the right of the post. Always a threat is Andy Irvin. Rummer restarts quickly, Irvin gathers, running again. And surely that was a late tackle, the referee looking for advantage. Quite unnecessary late tackle, long after Irvin had kicked that ball. And that late tackle, in fact, giving Douglas Morgan the chance to put Scotland on level terms. 15 minutes of the first half gone, and Douglas Morgan taking over the kicking. Douglas Morgan, 26 points, he's already scored for Scotland, and I'm sure he'd love to make this three more. the scores level the boot of Douglas Morgan 15 minutes gone of the first half and that has brought some cheer 
to the massive Scottish supporters here at Murrayfield. Drew Gill with the throw-in. McHarg, Palms, Morgan, McGeekin, Rennick. Beautiful jink inside and dummy. Mike Hunter carrying on. Nan McEwen about to feed out. But that was certainly positive play from the Scottish three-quarter line. Something they've been looking for all season. Barrow goes blind, feeds out to Gordon. He's got the pace, he's over the halfway. He's only Irvin to beat. This is going to be a race for the ball. Rennick charging back. Gordon, who's fast? The ball still loose, McEwen touches down. And really, what a threat this speedy Frenchman is proving to be. It was finally Nan McEwen who got his hand to the ball as this man, Jean-Francois Gordon, raced his own little chip ahead. The scrummage, five yards out, Romer, Luke's Guatacor's in the line. Great tackle by Gill. Bertrand, Skrela, Barrow. McCarr hounding Romer. Romer still going for it, they'll come back. The ball still bouncing loose. McLaughlin feeding with one hand. McGeekin, Irvin. Irvin beautifully beats Rummer. Irvin going for the line. A great pass to Drew Gill. He's a yard short. Just a yard short there. Drew Gill. Irvin had set him up. Gill just cover tackled. But that will have put fresh heart into Scotland. Romer restarts. Sandy Carmichael tries to gather. And yet again, France in front at the dropout. Not into the referee's satisfaction. Douglas Morgan retrieves the ball. That's the French 25. Morgan. McGeekin dummies and goes left. Spots the gap beautifully. Not able to get his pass in. Rennick picks up the ball. Sester has it. Feeds Esther. Accidental offside. Scotland once again with the put in. A good attacking position this for Scotland. Wilson Lauder breaks from the scrum. He's standing out. Scotland just packing the seven men down. Morgan had nothing else he could do but chip round the blind side with that tricky ball. McEwen. Dick. He ran into something very hard and solid then. Scotland still pressing as we come up four minutes to half time. The crowd roar. He. The ball does not emerge. Scotland were the last to be going forward. They have the advantage of the put in. A quick word from you, Chris. This is definitely one that the Scots want to get here. A few points before half-time is just what they need. Morgan waiting for the ball, but the penalty to France. Difficult to tell from this position exactly the penalty, what it was for, but I think foot up. Romer gives France a little more room to play with. Well into injury time now. Dick throws long again. Eventually Morgan gets the ball. Manson, McHarg, 
McEwen, the scrum half, McGeekin, Rennick. He had men outside him then, perhaps he should have run. Carmichael trying to boss his way straight through. Good position, Irvin. Too many Frenchmen in defence. Lukes trying to keep the ball going forward with the feet. Surely a suspicion there of offside. Louis Dick with a bit of room to move. Collared by a stare. Morgan. Rennick on the left wing. McGeekins with him. Morgan. Feeding McGeekin. Mike Hunter. Four men outside him. Louis Dick. McCards with him. Andy Irvin's there too. Gill. Irvin with Gill inside him. Irvin still going for the line. McCard, he must score. What a try for Scotland. That was flair. And what magnificent support play by backs and forwards. Finally, Alastair McCard was there to back up Irvin's dazzling run and force his way over for a critical score just on half time. Andy Irvin with this conversion attempt. It's there, the crowd roar. The rampant lions on the Scottish national flags are aloft. The crowd thrill as the referee, Ken Clark, blows his whistle for half time as Romer restarts the game, the second half. Andy Irvin. The buzz of excitement still with the crowd after that thrilling finale to the first half. Can Scotland continue where they left off? Or have France something extra special up their sleeve? The throw-in on the Scottish 10-yard line, palm back by Brown, McGeekin. He's a left-footed player, it's no trouble for him to kick back to the box, but that wasn't quite where he wanted it to go. The ball's still bouncing loosely, Morgan has. Finds the gap well, clever little kick. for Spangaro at the back again but Morgan it is with the kick but directly into touch France opting for the three-man line out throw long to Spangaro Sester tries to gather on the field and does that's Baccarat the ball loose in front of the Scottish post Romer looks for the drop it's there and once again Jean-Pierre Romer turns up trumps for France. The tricolour supporters show their delight and Romer brings France right back into the game. 15 minutes gone of this second half. Scotland with just the three-point lead. They have against the head, McGeekin drops for goal, left-footed. But they'll get another chance at goal. The penalty against Romer, I think. Well nigh in front of the French posts. Andy Irvin is called up to do the honours. Andy Irvin just checking the alignment of the ball. This kick by Irvin would give Scotland a six-point lead. Just that. The flags of St Andrew, the rampant lions, are waved above the heads of the crowd. And Scotland goes six points ahead. 16 minutes of the second half gone. Alastair McHarg, who continues to play in England, now in the West Country, playing for Exeter. France have good possession. Romer, Lukes, Picoon. 
Redick right on top of him. Doesn't manage to get him down, though. Bakun still in possession. Morgan has it. That's a cleverly placed kick down for the corner. Gill chases back hard. Bertrand covers, can do little. That was good thinking, good positional kicking by Douglas Morgan. There's the French line. That's the corner flag on the left of the picture. Scotland pressurising again. Six points ahead at this stage, midway through the second half. Barrow, his kick charged down by McCann. Romer has it, just rescues the situation. Barrow again to Buffelli. Buffelli's kick isn't in touch. Gill, unable to keep the ball in play. What excitement. And there, Ian Barnes waiting for the referee to allow him to take the field. Ian Barnes from Hoyk winning his second cap for Scotland. And he will undoubtedly take up a position in the second row with Alastair McHarg playing the number eight position and Watson taking the place of Nan McEwen on the flank. So, six points stop the lead. Scraler breaks from the line out, but the referee has blown. Breakaway, much to the dislike of the large French contingent here at Murrayville. The penalty is for Scotland. Scraler waves his arms as if to say, there's no justice in this world. Andy Irvin from about 35 yards on the right-hand side of the field. With this attempt to put Scotland further ahead, it looks good this time, and it is. And you can see the delight amongst the crowd as Scotland increase their lead to nine points. Scotland with the nine-point lead on the verge of a famous victory. The penalty on the halfway line, Sester decides to get it in motion himself. Buffelli, a great wing forward. Baccarat, one of the two Basque props. But Scotland have it again, McHarg to Rennick. He spotted that very well. Dick chases hard, Guatacor is caught by him, just on his own line, the ball runs loose. Gordon. up by kicking into the space caused all havoc to the French defence Dick followed up and now Scotland have the line out one yard from the French line and surely they'll get possession here they've dominated it this afternoon Gordon Brown catches it two-handed he roared the crowd Douglas Morgan waiting for the ball to emerge. But offside by Scotland, it would seem, giving France the opportunity to run out of defence. Romer kicking downfield, making Irvin cover back fast. Gill is with him. He'll love to run, I'm sure he will from here. McHarg again. Straight down the field, Sandy Carmichael to Wilson Lauder. The crowd urging them on. Duncan Madsen. Ian McGeekin with two men over. McGeekin, Reddick, it must be a score. Dick has scored a magnificent try for Scotland. Oh, what a wonderful piece of counter-attack by Scotland to score one of the finest tries we've seen this season. Now an 
Andy Irvin with the conversion attempt to put Scotland almost out of reach if he gets it, he doesn't. But nevertheless, it's a very useful lead at this stage in the game. 19 points to six, and just about seven minutes of proper time to go. The line-out. Three minutes of injury time gone. Scotland's on their ten-yard line. Have the ball again. Morgan, McGeekin this time not quite latching onto it. Retrieves well. They're the signs of a great footballer. The ball goes out of play. The referee, Ken Clark, blows his whistle for no side. The little boys swarm onto the field. An afternoon of great excitement for Scotland. They deny France the championship and score a notorious victory.